good day all and welcome back to our channel so today in this video let's discuss about order 14 bill of material in manufacturing so before starting production the might require a configuration for the product that defines the components or raw materials required for production number of components workstations and all so raw materials are most important for creating a product and these raw materials or components for manufacturing are termed as bill of material. So sometimes the product may require multiple bill of materials since it can be created in different ways. And it can be also used for creating product variants. Okay, so let's go to manufacturing module and see how we can create bill of material for products and use it for manufacturing. Okay, so first let's go to products and create a new one. Bench and you can mark it as can be sold, purchased, or expensed, and add some general information including product type, sales price, tax, unit of measure, and all. Then, here we can set some detail related to inventory that is routing. So, already buy is set as root, and if you want to manufacture this product, you can set as manufacture. So, from okay, now save this product. And here we can see an, an option to create bill of material. So if you want to create a bill of material for this product, you can uh, choose that option and create a new, new one from here. Or you can come under products, here we can find a menu to create a view and create new bill of materials. Okay, let me create a new bill of material for this product bench. So you can see the product is uh, added here, then you can set the quantity unit. Then if you have created product variants for this bench and if you want to apply that is create bill of material for that variant you can specify the variant here then here we can add the reference then bill of material type so if you are uh, creating this bill of material for create manufacturing this product you can choose the first option and if you want this product as kit and you can be used to split the product into components you can use the second option and you can create kit at the creation of manufacturing order or at the time of creation of a stock transfer. Then you can find a bill of material type that is subcontracting. So every manufacturing industry may not be interested in manufacturing every single item required for industry. Instead, they may outsource some of the works and focus more on assembling the particles purchased from outsourced firms. Uh, so such operations are known as subcontracting and involves a lot of procedures if the process handled manually. So here we can add the subcontractors uh, that are actually uh, vendors who will get manufactured components or some products for our company. Mm. Okay, so right now I'm going to create block making for manufacturing this product bench. And here we can add components required for manufacturing this bench. So we can add component here, multiple components. So I need a wood panel, then screw, six, then bolt, five. Okay. Then here we can set operations required to manufacture this product. So operation can be cutting, drilling and all. And we can set the work center. And we can set duration manually or compute based on track time. We can save or save and create new one. So I am adding a second operation. Okay, so two operations are set, added. Then you can see the label box center. Then here, if you want residual products, you can add uh, those here. Then we can set manufacturing readiness. That is, uh, manufacturing can be done when all components are available or when components for first operation are available. So only when I'm setting only when all components are available 
then um, we can set flexible consumption whether the consumption is flexible or not so we can so that if it is flexible then we can consume more or less components than the quantity defined on bill of material so we can allow consumption or we can allow with warning or we can block it so i'm setting allowed okay let me set as allowed with warning okay then we can save the bill of material and can see routing performance of the bill of material so we have routing performance report and we can also view the structure and cost of bill of material for the product and for the components and for the operations you can see uh, product cost and bill of material cost and if you want to change the report to bom structure only you can select that and if you want to update quantity you can change from here and take a print of this uh, bill of materials structure and cost report okay now when you come back to bench you can see one bill of materials created for this product and here when you come to general information there we can find an option to compute cost from bill of material uh, using products and operations related bill of material so uh, this option is only available for product with cost method standard price or average so you can click on compute price from bill of material and you can see the cost is updated here okay now when you come under products and view bill of materials so you can see for bench bill of materials created to manufacture the product and from here also you can create new bill of material so after creating bill of material you come under operations and you can create new manufacturing order that is to manufacture the product using the bill of material so here we can add the product large bench and you can see the bill of material and the related details components sorry product is bench okay so you can see the components work orders Uh, by products if you have given and if you want to add by products from here you can add that here um, and you can set the schedule date responsible person and you can confirm the manufacturing order from here so after confirming you can plan orders and here we can start manufacturing the start processing operation so you can see the real duration is changing and you can mark as done so first operation is finished then you can start the next operation and you can see this in progress and if it is done you can mark as done so all the operations are completed all the work orders are completed and here we can see product moves and from here we can mark as done if the manufacturing order is completed okay so here we have the traceability report and product moves so when you click on traceability you can see the product bench is moved from production location to stock and here we can see the product moves components are moved from stock to production location for manufacturing and then uh, here we can see bench is moved from production location to stock that is the finished product is moved from production location to our company stock So this is how we create bill of material and make use of to make use of it to manufacture product in order fourteen community. So if you have any doubt regarding this video or related topics, please add your val valuable comments below. And we have added related topics in the description box, so don't forget to check that. 